Over the last year, many areas in Schuylkill County were slammed with torrential downpours, forcing residents and some local governments to deal with the messy aftermath. Now the borough of Tremont is putting pressure on the federal government to do something about the effects they say they face from climate change. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espiot tells us about the resolution that the borough passed. These pictures of flooded streets in the borough of Tremont are starting to be a common occurrence that has caused many sleepless nights for emergency responders, including Mayor Ricky A. Nye Jr. In fact, these pictures are from the rain that hit last night. I want to take lead and be an advocate in a small borough that uh, federal lawmakers understand how serious this is. The mayor has taken a step by helping approve a resolution to support climate change action by putting pressure on the federal government. The borough is supporting the implementation of the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act of 2019, also known as H.R. 763. Citizens Climate Lobby Pottsville, which is a local chapter of a national grassroots organization, also supports the legislation that will help reduce carbon pollution. The local chapter says that reacting to the damages from the floods and waters just isn't enough anymore. But by passing H.R. 763, it will allow them to be proactive. It is much cheaper to get ahead of the climate problem and start putting a price on carbon and shifting toward cleaner energy than it is to just react to it. Zerby says the fees collected won't go to the government, but back to the people. She says taking action shouldn't be about political stance. Our last meeting was a completely packed standing room only situation. People were flooded out into the hallways because that many people want to see something done on the federal level to start getting at the root of the problem with climate change. Hats off to everyone that has put their political side a part of this to know that we just need to do this for our people. The local chapter will have its next meeting on June 3rd at 630 at the Pottsville Library. In Tremont, Rachel Espayat, Eyewitness News. The local chapter says the bill has been supported by both economists and scientists. Auditor General Eugene DePasquale is working on a climate report now to determine the impact that climate change has had on taxpayers and agencies within the state.